Hi there, I'm Sharon McCammon, board member of the St. Petersburg Arts Alliance, and today I'm joined with Suzanne Pomerantzeff, but we all know her as Miss P. Miss P, please tell us a little bit about Academy of Ballet Arts and the St. Petersburg Ballet Company and all the amazing things you do for our community, please. Okay, I would say the Academy of Ballet Arts is a part of the senior citizens of St. Petersburg because it was founded in 1969. So next September, we will start our 53rd year in business. All right, Suzanne, I noticed there's some costumes around here today. Why don't you show us what's in here and what's going on right now? All right, this is the audience's peek at what they never see, the backstage area. This is supposed to be the student's room to wait for classes to start. And this is typical. All these tutus are a part of Nutcracker, but we also use them for other things. Um, we try to invest, invest in costumes that the kids will feel very special about wearing, but they're not just for one time because we want the, um, the students to feel the professional level of costuming. And if we looked carefully enough in this rack, we would find one of your costumes from Nutcracker. Because many of them are 20 to 25 to 30 years old. <laughs> I don't doubt that for an instant. <laughs> So Suzanne, why don't you tell us a little bit about your own connection or the studio's connection with the St. Petersburg Arts Alliance? Um, well, my connection began when Helen Hansen French moved back into the area and she came to use the studio as a, a rehearsal creative place in order to create her very first grant opportunity with St. Pete Art, Arts Alliance. And I'd never heard of them before. And all of a sudden, there was this place that made me not feel like I was living in a vacuum, in a place that I cared about dance, but I seemed to be the only person caring about dance, and I didn't have anybody to talk to or relate to. And um, so I started going to the Arts Alliance meetings, the, the innovations, the classes that they gave. And I discovered this wonderful world where there were lots of other artists, not just dancers, who could give me inspiration and creativity. And I took every single class that they ever offered. And I felt like it brought the studio, what I'd loved for so many years, into the 21st century. 